Tyler built this beautiful clothed clothing rack out of half inch pipe? Is it half inch? Three quarter inch. Three quarter inch pipe. And it stands about four feet tall, a little bit over four feet. And we're gonna have four of these, one, two, three, four, for all of our clothing. And I think it looks really good. Home Depot made by our man Tyler over here. Did you ever find a name that you like, a title? Uh, uh, High Priest of the Church of Skating. <laughs> <laughs> this is High Priest of the Church of Skating right here. <laughs> I made this post of Tyler on the skate shop Instagram and I said hey he needs a title because he's gonna be in charge of the skate shop and I thought High Warlord was appropriate but some of the other people came up with some really good stuff like the beard of the boards Tyler the board Lord high priest of the church of skating kingpin big empanada beard master general as long as you don't call him grand wizard Tyler the undying high priest of 5-0 holiest of holies eternally faithful ever seeing with the might of many mountains and the voice of roaring river may your board be ever wax and your path clear of small and dangerous rocks <laughs> How do they know my name? <laughs> the master of bearings, wielder of decks, owner of trucks. My entire family has been in Charleston, South Carolina for the past like four or five days. And they've been begging me to come hang out with them. And I've been like, no, no, no. There's too much work to do. There's too much stuff to do for the main channel. I got to stream some, I haven't streamed it forever. You know, sketch shop, all that stuff. And as of today, uh, we don't have anything we can do at the skate shop right now. We have to wait on all of our orders to come in. So there's really no work to be done there. And Kaylee and I have decided, hey, let's go to Charleston and visit the family. That's what we're doing. We're gonna pack up for a few days and go hang out with the family in Charleston. They've been hitting the beach up. We weren't going to go originally also because the weather was supposed to be terrible. And the weather's just been perfectly fine every day down there. So by God, we're gonna go hang out. Oh, Squirt has also again been turned into an outdoor indoor cat because he is a pain in the ass to live with as a, just an indoor cat. Like our quality of living went down <laughs> when we kept him indoors. Jeeves is going to stay with his friends for a few days and he is a little bit sad about it. But he'll have fun and they got a big field that all the doggies can run around in. No, just, he's crying right now. I don't, don't know if lie you can to hear him. him. He's going to the farm. <laughs> he's going to the D farm. Yeah. You're going to be made into glue, Jeeves. No. We but we you. love you and we will see you in a few days. No. <laughs> he put his tongue in my mouth. Ooh, Jeeves. <laughs> I think he licked my tooth. Jeeves, are you licking teeth again? <laughs> you licked my oh, tooth. Oh, don't be sad. Don't you be sad. You licked my tooth. At licking teeth. <laughs> Sunflower seeds, Red Bull. Uh, yeah, I guess that's all I need for the trip. Uh, we're, we're on our way. Here we go. I'm just a kid and I know that it's not fair and the world is oh, I don't remember this song. Mr. Narwhal Nuffers the Third is here. Mr. Narwhal's Nuffers the Third? I want a friend. Okay, I'll be your friend, Mr. And who invited no. you two here? Oh, it's no. getting cramped in here already. We made it to Charleston and I got to see John for a little bit as you just saw. And we got another little haunted inn, just like my Charleston video on my main channel. Now we're going to go back to the Prohibition Bar that we were at in my main channel Charleston vlog I did. And we're going to hang out there. I'm going to meet up with my sister and her husband and we're just we're going to have a good time. We're staying here at this place called the Elliott House Inn. Like I said, it's super haunted. And check it out, right next door is Husk, the place that I really, really wanted to eat at and then we couldn't get a reservation at. So while we're here, we might try to get a table at Husk again. Just pulled up a prohibition, but we're gonna run down and grab something to eat at this oyster bar down here before we meet up with my sister. We're at an oyster bar and there's an oyster, there, there's an oyster bar here. Did you know there's an oyster bar at the oyster bar? I got the oyster shooter, it's pepper infused vodka, hot sauce, house made mix. I don't know what that means, it's some kind of tomatoey mix. And there's a raw oyster in here. So, bottoms up. You're gross. That was really good. I don't know what kind of mix that was, but it was good. Ew. That oyster just slid down the gullet. Ew. <laughs> we have Gulf Oysters and Sea Farm. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Kaylee's so smart. Gulf Oysters are human. This is why she's with me, to be my handler. Look, it's Misty and Brandon, and they came to hang out with us. These Gulf Oysters are freaking huge. Look how big that is. It's almost like a mountain oyster. That's what it looks like. I destroyed the other oysters, but I just, I can't do these. They just taste like pure ocean and they're giant 
and they just make me think of a testicle. And so it makes me miss my Navy days in a way, but, oh. Oh no. Senor, you dropped your oyster. You have to handle it a little more carefully than that. That's, for That's you. a lot to have in your mouth. You cup it. <laughs> we are done with the oysters now. We're gonna head on to our favorite bar, Prohibition. Can't wait to drink too much and then fall down after eating a bunch of street food. Brandon got the mint julep. It's pretty fancy. Exactly like the last <laughs> vlog that we did here. There's police everywhere. We got one, and then we got the ambu. An ambu, a bambula. And then we got a uh, uh, popo there, and then popo further down the street. Oh no. How could I not come here without getting a slice of pizza to unhinge my jaw and eat? I feel really bad because we went out and got pizza and I bought this poor, this poor policeman some pizza but he had to leave to go to a fight involving a bunch of people so his pizza is just sitting there. It was good to meet you man. I hope you see this and know that I wish you could be here eating your pizza. Just in case you're wondering where I always get this giant pizza when I'm in Charleston, it's Benny Ravello's Pizza. We are at Sullivan's Island now and there's this little strip right here. It's This is right beside Charleston, but there's a little strip right here with a bunch of good restaurants. And we're gonna go eat at this really cool place called Poe's Tavern. And this is where we heard about the uh, jalapeno peanut butter and jelly and bacon burger. And it was super good last time we were here. <laughs> We're getting Bloody Marys, special Bloody Marys to start the day off. Ooh. Ooh. Look, it's a bearded fairy man with large nipples. <laughs> oh, it's the guy. <laughs> it's the Instagram guy. I'm not going to say any names, but there's a guy that we follow, a fitness dude on Instagram. And we can't help but to notice how long his nipples are in every shirtless pit picture he takes. No names, no names being said. Look at that tuna. That does look really, really, really good. You got the ahi fish tacos, and then I got, and then I got the mahi. Oh wait, that is another ahi. Hold on, mahi right there. It's yellowfin. Mahi. Ahi. Mahi. Ahi. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> is that Poe? Or is that Hitler with curly hair? Charlie Chaplin? Perhaps? Farewell, big nippled fairy beard man. I got a shirt from Poe's Tavern, and this is the lighthouse out here on Sullivan Island. And the only reason I got this, honestly, is because this lighthouse looks like a compound that you would build on rust. And I'll show you guys here in a minute when we drive by it. I can't. I think it's I think it's that way, so we'll drive by it and I'll try and show you. It legit looks like a real life rust compound. This is Fort Moultrie, and behind Fort Moultrie is a cool little beach, and that's where we're going today. Fort Moultrie was used in 1967 to fend off the Russians. What? Colorized, 2019. Hello. It's a John! What's up, buddy? What? What you been doing? I uh, was in the ocean. No. I'm gonna eat. Cheese. Sweet! Oh my god, I love your shorts. <laughs> ah, creeper! What's that right there? <laughs> it's a Charlie. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> we are right behind Fort Moultrie. It's over that hill right there, and there is another fort. You can kind of see it right out there. And to the right, you have Charleston. You can see the, the big giant Charleston wire bridge thingy right there. So it's a really cool little spot to be at. I feel like a, a, little, a little criminal right now, my criminal family gang. Technically, we're not supposed to have beer out here, but we may have a little beer. And the Beach Patrol keeps rolling by, and we all scramble <laughs> to hide them. Like 12! 12! It's 12! I know we're like, Mom! Mom, hide him! Hide him, Mom! <laughs> <laughs> it's 12! It's 12, Mom! 5 -0 just confiscated their beer. Confiscated? Confiscated it. Confiscated. They could have escaped. Oh, Lord. I wonder how many of them are asking if they were being detained. <laughs> I'm, I don't know. 
I'm gonna tell him I'm a sovereign citizen. I, I'm not drinking my beer, it's just traveling to my mouth. Exactly, <laughs> my beer's just traveling. So this is my dad and my brother-in-law, by the way. You can tell we're totally related. The police. 12, 12, oh it's 12. Brandon just learned us some history here. This uh, Fort Moultrie, right? Yes. Fort Moultrie, right here, the one that I showed you a minute ago. A soldier fought for Fort Moultrie and that was the Confederacy and they bombed the shit out of Fort Sumter, which is, you can kind of see it right there with a flag poking up. And then he liked being here so much when he left the war, he came home and he built that house right there. And then he sat on his back porch and he looked at the fort that he bombed the shit out of every single day. That's Fort Sumter right there and someone parked their big ass yacht the size of Fort Sumter right beside it. My dad said, hey, that thing's moving, but he's making a sandwich. <laughs> I don't look like nipple guy, do I? No. My nips are good and short. There, you have normal nipples. Nothing's wrong with long nipples, by the way. I caught some squid! <laughs> good job, baby! Thank you. I'm so look, proud I of two you! Of them. You caught two squids! Look at that, you caught some bait! He's gonna be so proud of me. Maybe Your finally, dad will finally Finally be proud. gain my father's acceptance. <laughs> We got some salty sandwiches, Mom. <laughs> I think the sandwiches got a little salt in the cooler there, so Mom's eating a salty sandwich. <laughs> hey, I, I caught two squids out there. It was really cool. All right, cool. Yeah. All right. I wonder if, like, during the Civil War, like, their, spe their special forces dudes or their idea of special forces could just like run up the side of a fort like that. Like the super athletic guys, yeah. that's how they deemed you a special forces guy back then. <laughs> you could just sprint up and like grab onto that and pull yourself up. This is the visitor center in front of the fort right here. And last year, we didn't know that they closed the gate at 5 p.m. even though there's a giant sign that says that. And we got locked in here <laughs> last year and we had to drive around that way and call the police to let us out of a gate back there. So we got about seven minutes before they lock our asses in here this year and hopefully Kaylee can pee quick enough to come back and we don't get locked in here again. <laughs> oh, I found wood. Look at this piece of driftwood. It's really neat. We did it. We escaped. My family wanted to eat at Folly Beach tonight and hang out on Folly Beach tomorrow and we were able to find one room here and it's like this cool, little chill, kind of tropical <laughs> little uh, room place. Little room place. So we're gonna wash our sandy butt cracks and probably go out and get some taco boy and get some beef and kimchi tacos. That's what I get every time I'm here. I'm so excited. Oh, nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's awesome. It's an above shower head. This is a cool little room. We have robes. I'm definitely wearing those just because they exist yeah, here. We got a, uh, a, a nice little, little view of of the hot tub, which we're kind of happy it's broken down right now so we don't have a bunch of old people out there having sex. This is an adults only hotel. They said if you show up here with someone under the age of 12 that they will forfeit your room and keep the money. So they're pretty serious about there not being a bunch of whippersnappers running around. This is cool. I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad we got it. I'm glad we didn't get the holiday in. This now. is cool. I have never seen a hotel room that has a a fan on a fan. Fanception. The gestation period for a fan is approximately 17 weeks and then the mother fan. We're on our way to Taco Boy. We have complimentary go-kart, golf cart service. <laughs> what? Your camera's all fuzzy. It is fuzzy. It's fogged up. Oh no. A complimentary golf cart service with our wonderful driver here. <laughs> we're going to Taco Boy, go grab some of them kimchi and beef tacos, and then we're gonna meet the family up here. I have no idea what Satan is, but they have house marinated Satan, and if it has three stars, that means that it denotes vegan, therefore Satan is a vegan. We cracked the code. Two kimchi, one fried chicken, 
one tempura avocado. I've never even heard that. We're gonna get one carnita and one al pastor so we can taste Satan. This is something that I never heard of before. It's called a Mexican ashtray and our friend down the bar showed us this. It's hot sauce and lime and over a Mexican beer and you crack it open and so the first few sips are kind of spicy and limey and tastes pretty good. This is why we come here. This is the kimchi and beef and I'm so excited about that. I'm gonna eat all of it if you don't really like yeah. Apparently when you order the vegan taco, they just put a turd in it. <laughs> Kaylee thought I was exaggerating about, about this right here. But like not only does it taste bad, the consistency just doesn't align with anything. So it's officially a turd taco. <laughs> hey! Is this what you wanted to see? This is Will's favorite person in the world. Look at that hair, dude. Got some cornhole going on with Kaylee and Brandon. It's me and Kaylee versus John and Brandon. Charlie, I need those bags. Charlie, Charlie, put them in the hole. Do it, get it, Charlie. Yeah! Yeah! Charlie, that's some quality cornhole right there, my guy. What you do? Dude, do you even know how to cornhole? Because I think you do. Do you even cornhole? Bro? That's pretty good, man. Get, get get it. I got a monster. Oh no! <laughs> what kind of day is it? A night day. A night day. You're right. It is a night day. Good job, Charlie. This is pretty funny. <laughs> the local DUI attorney gives out koozies <laughs> with his phone number on it. <laughs> oh, I got pink face just a little bit. Hey, we came out to the bar, rooftop bar, but look who I brought. I brought my parents. You're not cool unless you bring your parents to the rooftop bar. That's right. 